Hello guys and welcome back to Air Tycoon 5 World Domination Episode 2. Um, today we're just going to be continuing on playing, um, but now it's going to be a little bit different because as you can see this is a downtick, I'm making 350k, which isn't necessarily bad. Um, but I kind of reached my milestone, I set in the first episode of hitting 200,000 a turn uh, on downticks and 500,000 on upticks. I'm finally there. Um, if you take a look at my inventory, yeah, I have a lot and a lot more planes than last time. And the big difference maker is the 747's least. If we take a look at them, they, they make pretty good money. This one's making 6k when you combine the two halves, uh, for example. I'm just picking random ones out. Uh, but like, if we take a look in the routes, like all most of the most profitable routes are these 747's. And as we can see, like a DC-1030, just single stop, is making a similar amount. Um... Yeah, these 747s, even though their stopover halves, are making really good money. Uh, so that's nice. Um, they're kind of covering for the fact that Tupolevs are borderline losing money. Um, but now, basically, I think I've finally reached a point in the game where I can start to focus, instead of on growing, um, just for the sake of occupying slots, I think I finally reached the point where I have enough slots. The only cities where I didn't really succeed in my goal of occupying 500 slots are the following. Um, I still need to do Moscow, Athens, Barcelona, um, Madrid, Singapore, uh, Kuala Lumpur, and I think I messed up on Charlotte. So, um, yeah, Charlotte, I forgot. I didn't notice it was getting full. Um, so I only have 172 slots there. I'll pay attention to it and pick up some more slots everywhere I want. All the other airports don't have a AI based in them, so they'll never fill up. Oh yeah, San Francisco, I'm still in no rush. Uh, there's still thousands of slots left. I just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I mean, Houston, I got some. Atlanta, I got not as many as I would have liked, but still plenty, um, plenty of slots indeed. Um, yeah, so mainly now... I have a bare minimum in Barcelona and Athens, so I really just need to get a bare minimum in Madrid and a bare minimum in Tokyo. And I don't think anyone's based in Bangkok, yep. And a bare minimum in Kuala Lumpur, so around 300-ish like I have in Singapore. And then I'll be done. So I'm very close to being able to basically just focus completely on growing profit now, which is kind of like a thank God kind of thing. Um, I'm getting really board I guess you could say of uh, just trying to occupy slots in a very um, unprofitable way it's much more fun to make a big profit while playing so yeah it's finally finally time to start growing that and I know this is not the most efficient way to grow profit but I've chosen to use Boeing 747 SPs in this project um, just because it's time to actually like progress more quickly and I need slightly larger planes to do that. Uh, if I, I could use probably like DC-sized aircraft, Douglas. Um, and it probably would be faster considering I'd be uh, making far more per cash dollar. And I think I will do that for a little bit. But then quickly, quickly switch over back to um, SPs. Um, the main reason being is there's a ton of great routes to occupy like this. Um, which, you know, like... I could do it with a Douglas-sized aircraft, but it seems like such a waste to not occupy it with a slightly better aircraft, um, even though it technically would result in faster growth, but it also would require more work on the player part. So yeah, like, look at this. Um, with the Boeing 747 SPs, we can basically start to really um, dig in and service almost any route because they're not too big like the 747-100s. Uh, 747-100s definitely need a much bigger route to actually feel successful on. Um, yeah, it's cash in some of our slots in Amsterdam so we can go ahead and I think make some routes I saw around here. Yeah, Bangkok to Amsterdam is somehow not taken. <laughs> so definitely going to want that and we're just going to want to stop somewhere. Um, in North America, and as it looks like most of the best cities are taken, let's just check South America, like Sao Paulo is out of range, I believe, so I 
think the best way to progress is literally just to compete with one of these routes. Like three aircraft, yeah, we'll just compete with that. Um, and we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set that. Nice, perfect. What other routes are we missing? Um, yeah, it's really hard to say. We're just basically prowling the world for the remaining 747-100 routes, which would work. Um, there are very, very few left, to be honest, that I think are worth it. Um, like I'm even going as far as using Toronto to Oslo kind of stopovers. Um, and what can I use on this side of the world? Uh, Singapore? Nope, that's out of range, unfortunately. So we can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, Shanghai has been taken to both of those. Yeah, as you guys can see, ooh, see, there are missing ones, like missing good routes where um, no one's taken them yet. So it's just about kind of scavenging through and actually finding them and opening them up. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really like kind of torn on whether I should go small aircraft and stop over uh, like, but here's, here's the thing, right? The stopover capable aircraft I'd be using would be like a 707-320B, which is 80,000. I think it's probably more worth it to just use a DC-1030 because it, it's double the seats for double the price. Um, and you get the extra range. It's slightly more fuel efficient. It's, uh, no, it's the same fuel efficiency actually. But uh, hold up, it's the same fuel efficiency, but it's far more satisfying. So basically, you're able to fill slightly bigger routes with it. So I think I might just go down that path um, of using the Douglas DC-1030 as my main airplane, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Got to do something like San Francisco to Napoli. Oh, frick, none of these are my hubs yet. So, unfortunately, I can't do any of that. Shenanigans. Um, yeah, I seriously need to focus on capturing a lot of the smaller routes. Like, for example, this kind of route is just a bit too small to maintain perfect load factors. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of need at some point to start using a smaller aircraft so I can really capture... Um, all the demand basically uh, which is just sitting there waiting to be taken and have a lot more routes per per hub basically uh, which will greatly greatly increase my profitability uh, do I have any more planes no I don't I have tons of tube left sitting there waiting to claim slots uh, I think I should claim Moscow slots right now actually uh, Here's the, here's the difficulty of claiming these Moscow slots, is look at the range. He, he, like, look at the range which I have to kind of um, make these uh, routes at. I have to close profitable routes like this just to um, add schedules to this because I don't have a base in Moscow to open actual profitable routes. So basically, I end up stuck doing this, closing profitable routes to open... Uh, extremely overlapped routes like this um and i'm just going to take 300 slots in this kind of airport because i think in a smaller city like moscow 300 slots is honestly enough to bankrupt the the companies there so yeah like 270 slots it honestly should be enough to bankrupt the companies based here because he, here's, here's what i mean right if i take a look I think, I think one of the mistakes I made in this is I took too many slots in airports where I didn't need them, which was too expensive. But like, he, he, if I look at this guy's um, routes, right? The, the, the profitable routes are only, I don't know, there's maybe like one page, two pages. Like, you know, you know what I mean? There's only a few pages of profitable routes. And I only need like, I don't know, 50, 60 routes, which is about 300 slots to to really put these guys in the dirt basically 
<laughs> it looks like 2,702. Oh, that is 2,702 because that's him. Wow, Jesus. Mm. But yeah, like like 270 is probably a bit thin. I probably want more like 350. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to cash in on more slots, basically. Let's add these to the max and let's cancel this route to make some more slots there moscow yeah i said i was going to focus solely on growing profit what a lie that was i just need to have the the, the kind of relaxedness at heart knowing that i'll have at least a few slots to compete no matter what in every airport so moscow is another one done um san fran charlotte's on a watch list where you know i fucked it up but i'm gonna have to check in every now and then athens is safe 350 uh so it's just tokyo kuala lumpur and singapore which i need to make kind of quote unquote safe now uh so let's just go ahead and actually open a few uh just they don't really have to be profitable but like not losing money routes uh, to Singapore to, you know, get like a few hundred slots here. Uh, let's go for 400 because we can. And like when you're not losing money to take the slots, it doesn't feel as bad as um when I'm doing what I'm doing in Barcelona or uh, Moscow, you're just seeing, which is just creating one lap route with like five planes flying on it and just losing money constantly. Um, yeah, I, I mind doing this much less because this actually is money neutral. Uh, money neutral is not great. I mean, I'm spending capital to make no money back, but that's significantly better than the other options. So anyways, that's finally done. I can go ahead and pass the turn. And boom, that's an uptake, isn't it? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. It's good to see that my money is actually prevailing through these uh, horrific... Um, waste of money on basically slots and stuff but yeah we can see some of the sps are starting to come up in the most profitable list nice which is two uh which is what which is nice too um i already bought fuel and i think i'm gonna start ordering dc 1030s as my flagship plane too bad the airbus doesn't quite have the range to make stopover capability um because it'd be cool to use those but um, yeah, the other option is freaking, um, I think it, where is it? Is Lockheed not, no, there it is, Lo there's Lockheed, I'm blind, is Lockheed, but look at these things, they're way too expensive per seat, um, so the DC-1030 is where it's at. Uh, I need to shrink these premium classes just a little bit, because the goals for these planes is gonna be more uh utilitarian because doing stopovers of course you don't need to be quite as big also the additional range on those is going to help a lot and a lot and a lot um for the plans i have so what planes do i have now i have two sps so sps are really fun because you get to find nice extremely long range routes uh like this for example which are just they're just great routes um and you can just do them direct because they won't make too much more in a stopover uh and this is of course significantly easier than clicking all the buttons to make a stopover and yeah it's time to try and increase profit quickly so nice 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 uh that's done i seriously need to just get all the slots i need in the important airports so i no longer feel the need to so impulsively check on the airports as if they're gonna fill up instantly which they might <laughs> um so yeah i need a plan for like a madrid san fran i think yeah like and then because once i have these airports sorted out I really don't have anything to worry about. I can just play my game, basically. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and pass this next turn here. Um, should have a pretty significant decrease in profit. Yep. Some heavy snow as well. Um, 
yeah, this is reaching the a pretty boring stage of the game, I guess. It's boring and exciting at the same time, because with my current setbacks from um, basically my playstyle earlier, it's going to be a long, long time before I hit relevant amounts of profit. Uh, like, an incredibly long time before I hit even, like, the same level of profit as in my other world, which I think in 1983 was peaking at about 1.25 million in 1983. Uh, yeah, so I'm a significantly long way, ways away from hitting that same level's in this world, but at least, at least, we'll have a much more fun rest of the game because there's tons and tons of slots, and I think in theory, I'll be able to bankrupt everyone. But that is yet to be, be proven to be possible, and yeah, I can't wait for the challenge, I guess, but, uh, is that reach? Ooh, that just reaches. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm pretty close to a price reset, so I'm not going to worry about my pricing. Uh, I, of course, do price re I'm going to do price resets on the 0.5 month um, up here. Not sure if that means May or June, to be honest, but, uh, yeah. Let's see what other routes I have. Do I see anything missed in here? Anything major? Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, Tripoli, Taken, Vienna, Warsaw. Hamburg, Oslo, Stockholm, all taken. Wow. Um, I guess the AI is getting bored too. Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> uh, oh, we don't have Tripoli for Shanghai. Uh, maybe that's because there's nothing to land in. I mean, I've got Atlanta, so I'll use it. Oh, that doesn't need to be. I have an SP. So, yeah, SPs have a lot more routes. Let's just, like, pick any city, Beijing. And look at this. <laughs> um... I'm spoiled for choice. Oh, no, never mind. I actually am still spoiled for choice. Just pick Houston instead. And boom, go ahead and fix that up. Boom, all right, open. Sweet. So, yeah. So, you know what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do my best right now. It's just see how many slots I can occupy. In these cities so Kuala Lumpur is completely maxed out at 219 I don't feel comfortable with that I'm gonna need to do something about that I don't know how there's no nearby bases so for example if I do this like five Tupolevs occupies 70 slots I mean that's losing a lot of money for no reason I guess I'll do that just for peace of mind um yeah, let's go ahead and max this out. Let's go ahead and max this out. Uh, wait, what? Oh. Am I missing slots in Guangzhou? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we'll go ahead and fix this up. I'm setting 350 as the magical number of safety. So I'm going to need to do Hong Kong as well. I have a base in Hong Kong. And yeah, boy, this is losing a ton and a ton of money. But what can you do? Um, I think three or so will be enough. Let's start with two. And then let's max out these slots. That's 317. Not quite enough, not quite enough. So let's max out the Hong Kong slots. And let's just add more planes. Boom. All right, I think we're close. 345 slots in Kuala Lumpur. All right, I'm going to call that one safe. Uh, next, we have Madrid. We're waiting on the airport. And San Fran. San Fran's another problem. Chicago. <laughs> what, what's happening here? Do you see this? The city is getting significantly offset from where they actually are. <laughs> like, there's Long Island right here. <laughs> and then New York's all the way down here. Um, whoops. Uh... <laughs> What, what the frick is happening? Like, Los Angeles is, like, right to the left of San Diego. <laughs> or to the right of San Diego. <laughs> what the frick is happening? Um, yeah. Anyone who's familiar with geography is, like, probably going, what the fuck right now? Uh, 
I've been noticing as I play and I don't quit the world for a significant amount of time, the offset gets worse and worse. I'm just going to also throw in a safe here just to, you know, be safe because with weird bugs like this, I don't want the game to suddenly crash and I have to, have to redo a shit ton of annoying work. Like, look how close they look too. So uh, we can go ahead and cancel like three of those. Open up some slots in LA and then max out slots in San Fran. And we can go ahead and put this up to five. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I need to max this out. So do I need slots in LA? No, I need slots in San Fran. All right, San Fran to LA. Ooh, 145. That's nice. That's a great use of slots. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why nobody does this in online. I guess it's too expensive to do in online. But you, if you did this with just like one or two cities like London, uh, Paris, that'd be hell annoying for anyone who's trying to become extremely big. Uh, but I see plenty of successful companies run out of, uh, I guess, less good cities like, uh, for example, like really good still, but not like grade A material like London, like Beijing and stuff all the time. I think London also has the disadvantage of being... The first thing people think of when they think of, like, somewhere to make a route to. So, I guess that could be considered. But, yeah, I think with Houston, actually, I should... I should have my slots sorted out. All right, all right, so, yeah, I'm just thinking now. Um, all right, so this is good. I think that San Francisco is safe. Uh, boom, San Francisco is safe. Mm, I still kind of want more slots. Like, that's maxed. And that's maxed. And I still only have 200, 300 slots. Uh, so I guess we can use Chicago for a few more. Once again, our deleting more profitable routes to do this. Great, great strategy, Wayne. <laughs> All right, we'll close a couple of these to make some slots in Chicago. And let's go ahead and... I can't add planes to a half of a stopover. Okay, well, we're... We're just gonna put put it back, put it back. Nothing ever happened. All right. <laughs> um, all right, so 300 uh, will work, I guess. I mean, I have no other choice. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other bases close enough to San Fran to occupy any slots. Plus, I have a feeling San Fran won't get slot locked for a long time. And the last one is Tokyo. So I think I already have Tokyo to Seoul. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just do like Shanghai. I mean, this is also doubling as a Shanghai slot occupation. So this is nice. Uh, boom. Perfect. And let's... Ooh, we're getting a lot of slots in Shanghai. We have like over 800 now. Um, yeah, this is very nice. This is very nice. Because uh, once, once, right, I'm done with all these stupid cities, I can seriously relax. Forget about checking the cities every 10 seconds for, for slots and literally just focus on playing the game. Um, I am short a few tube loves though. So, uh, I mean, I have 300. Yeah, I have 300, you know what? Th that's basically safe. I mean, I'm going to be doing all long-range routes. I'm just convincing myself right now. Um, but Moscow has 300, Tokyo has 300. Literally, every single hub has 300, except for Charlotte. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on Charlotte and see if I can eventually get some more. So, perfect then. That means I can literally forget about freaking two blasts, forget about freaking slots for the next nine years, because I won't have to replace tube lefts for nine years, and then in nine years' time, 
I'm going to have to figure out a new plan for what to do with those slots. Um, but in that time, hopefully, I'll be able to grow my profit into the sky. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of growing in this sense. And next episode will be solely focused on growing profit, I guess. Like, for real. Not not like this time where I said I was going to do that and then didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, guys. Yeah, hopefully we can fix out this profit, get it to above a billion on upticks and above 500,000 on downticks. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.